Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan, and in this session, I want to define events and projects. An event is a collection of media files. A project is how you want them edited together. The power of Final Cut Pro 10 is that both events and projects are stored in two separate databases. Any piece of media is now instantly available to any project. There's no more project crashing because you use too many clips. No more copying media files from one project to another. No more importing media into a project before you can even start editing. The databases make all the difference. The Final Cut Events folder contains all the media and metadata captured from a camera, ingested from a card, or imported from the Finder. And this includes metadata that is auto-generated by Final Cut Pro 10. Event folders can be shared between projects, can be merged into a single folder, can be moved from one disk to another, can even be deleted from Final Cut Pro 10, all from within Final Cut Pro 10. By default, the Events folder is stored in the Home directory, movies folder of your computer, but you can move it to different locations and different drives. However, use Final Cut to move the events folder. Don't use the Finder. The events folder can only be stored on locally attached storage, either an internal drive or an external drive or a RAID. However, media files that are linked to an events folder can be stored either locally or on a network server. Don't rename the events folder or anything in it. Don't move anything inside the events folder. Just leave the contents alone. Final Cut is managing all of that information. The power of a database means that Final Cut can organize your files faster and better than the Finder. To help in that organization, media can either be copied or linked to the events folder. Linking points to the file, similar to the way that Final Cut 7 works. Copying duplicates the file into the Events folder. The Final Cut default is to copy all media files. And if you're a new user, the default setting of copy is the best choice. However, if you're an experienced editor, linking more closely resembles how Final Cut 7 works with media. Linking also avoids duplicating media, which reduces your storage needs. My recommendation is to use Final Cut Pro 10 to move the events folder from the boot drive to a second drive and then copy media files into it. This consolidates all media files in one place and I'll show you how to do this in Chapter 3, Getting Started. You can create an event folder for each hard drive or RAID attached to your computer. However, you're only allowed one event folder per drive. And remember, only move event folders using Final Cut Pro 10, not the Finder. The Final Cut Projects folder is an edit decision database containing edit instructions along with render files, waveforms, thumbnails, and proxies. Projects can only be stored in the Final Cut Projects folder. Each folder can store an unlimited number of projects, but each project contains only one sequence. Projects are associated with one specific event folder, but can use media from multiple events. One of the nice things is that using media in more than one project does not duplicate media. By default, the Final Cut Projects folder is stored in your home directory in the Movies folder. You can change locations using the project library inside Final Cut Pro 10, and I'll show you how to do this inside Chapter 3, Getting Started. Don't move the project folder using the Finder. In fact, don't rename anything in it. And, as with the Events folder, you can only have one Projects folder per drive. My recommendation is to move the projects folder from the boot drive to an attached second drive. This provides faster performance, improved access, and greater storage. It can be stored on the same drive as the events folder or on a separate drive, but it cannot be stored to a network server. Moving both media and projects to separate databases improves the stability, flexibility, and speed of Final Cut. However, the default setting, which places both the events and projects folders in the home directory of your boot drive, is just too limiting. Instead, use Final Cut to move all your files to a second drive. Remember, don't rename or move any files created by Final Cut using the Finder. And finally, use Final Cut Pro 10 to organize your projects and media, rather than trying to organize files in the Finder. 
My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.